Hey everyone, we are at the boardwalk, room 4013, and I thought I would give you a quick look around. So let's start with the entryway. This is the entryway into the room. The light is flickering a little bit, so you're gonna have to bear with us there. This feels a little bit smaller than normal entryways, but I will be honest with you, when I was going through the whole room, the whole room feels slightly smaller than average. I am gonna have to check and see what the actual square footage is. There is no door over here. This is not where the where the rooms connect as per usual, but there's still plenty of room to put all your bags. You can kind of see some of my bags are kind of tossed there in the corner. Still plenty of room for that. Still plenty of room for your stroller, maybe a wheelchair. We have a mirror right here. Nowhere to hang your stuff when you're coming in. Let's turn this way, take a look at the kitchenette area. So this is a rather large kitchenette area. We've seen smaller. Looks really nice. Up here we have our cabinets where we've got our individually wrapped plates, bowls, cups, and lids. On this side, you'll see we have extra paper towels as well as some of those necessities that you'd need, wine, bottle opener, whatnot. We step back, we have a microwave. This looks like a smaller one. That's actually pretty good size, pretty deep, nice and clean. Toaster, this is a double toaster. Really ideal if you are going to be here with a number of people, or two people who like two different things. <laughs> um, we have a small sink. All the stuff that you'd come to expect. So we have a sponge, our soap. We've got some coffee, both decaf and regular, and a full-size coffee maker. There are also a few plugs over here, which is very nice. Under the sink, we do have some storage. We have a recycling and a regular trash, as well as our paper towels. And there is a fridge, as per usual, let's check. And there is a freezer compartment in here, which again, we love seeing, because that means we can freeze our water bottles, freeze our little ice packs, make sure that we stay cool for the day, because it is warm out there. Let's take a quick look into the bathroom. Nice wide door in the bathroom here. We'll notice that there is a hook up here to hang your towels and whatnot. It is not very bright <laughs> in the bathroom at all. And it is very, very small in this bathroom. This is definitely something I would say is a downside, but let's take a look real quick before we talk more about that. So we have a shower head right there. Nice wide shower head. We've got our clothesline for hanging out bathing suits. And this is, of course, a tub. So perfect if you have little ones. We do have a Ferris wheel pattern on the shower curtain, which is really cool. And I forgot to mention, but there are the single use. H2O products in here. Up here you'll notice we have a rack with some towels, some extra toilet paper, 
and there is a trash bin in here as well but again very small in here very very small in this bathroom and that's your only rack there's not going to be another one on this side so no towel rack on this side now I will say this is definitely a downside when it comes to some of these rooms I'm gonna close the door for now when it is as small as this bathroom is it doesn't really leave a lot of space for changing privately and that is something that I am not a huge fan of especially if you're gonna be sharing this room with kids or multiple parties because actually I'll pull back here before we move on see there's no separation so you either have to change in that tiny bathroom or encourage everyone to give you your privacy. Not always the easiest thing to do. So here we have our vanity and it is lovely. It is nice and large, plenty of space to put all of your necessities. It's This is what I like to see. So we have the big mirror there and look, it looks like we have some hidden Mickeys up here. That's one of the great things about hotels. Oh, I'll talk to you like this. That's one of the great things about hotels like this is even though they are deluxe, there are still some touches of Disney here and there. I really like to see that. There's our mirror. Again, really large vanity space right there. Some more H2O products makeup mirror and down here hair dryer lots of space lots of storage space again when we talk about oh, there's another trash again when we talk about resorts like this especially Disney Vacation Club you have a lot of stuff that you probably want to tuck away and when the room is smaller, like this one is, there's some extra tissues and toilet paper. When the room is smaller, like this one is, these spaces become very important so that you can tuck things away, keep your sanity, keep the room feeling somewhat orderly. Here we have our closet. This one is a sliding door. So we'll slide that all the way open and you can see it is rather large. Extra pillow and blanket. There's two sets up there because there are two pullouts in this room. Have a luggage rack. And of course, we have the safe. This is a digital safe. Huge plus in my book. Much easier to remember a code than to hold on to a key. And even though it's dark, if we kind of look back here, there is our iron and ironing board and plenty of space to tuck your luggage so that's a huge plus in my book as well and we pull back here we're going to see the rest of the room so let's step forward into that we have a ceiling fan which is amazing always love having ceiling fans in these rooms let's start on this side We've got a bit of a dresser here with plenty of drawers. This is really nice. A little sticky, but that's all right. Good sized drawers to put all of your stuff in. Plenty of storage on top, so if you want to set your day bags or something up there, that's ideal as well. Here is our Murphy bed and table. This is similar to what we saw in the beach club. Very convenient, but also it, there is that downside of not having a separate table. If you happen to be staying with someone who's going to utilize that Murphy bed, you can pull it out and put it back in, but it's not quite as convenient as having a separate table. Now, if we turn this way, you'll see this is where the door is. 
that would open up if you had an adjoining room. Generally speaking, attached to this room, this is a deluxe studio, would be a one bedroom villa. And if you open this door up, that makes your whole room a two bedroom villa. So it is nice to have that separation of the door if you're staying with a larger family, but also still be in the same place. Here's our bed. It's kind of tucked off into the corner. Right away, you will notice there is no under bed storage. Now, if we walk over here, I'm going to point out something. It's a criticism I've had of other hotel rooms, mainly because I don't think that the space is utilized as well as it could be. So I'm going to explain that to you so you have an idea of where I've been coming from when I've been talking about this in other room tours. So you'll see that there is a mirror on this side of the bed and then there is the bed right here and there really isn't that much space between the wall and the bed. There's not a nightstand over here, it's rather tight. And I know I can't really show this to you very well but if I was to try and step in this space, there's barely enough room for my hips to fit in this space. Now, of course, we could turn sideways and scoot that way, but I don't know about you. For me, nighttime is not when I am most coordinated, especially if I'm waking up in the middle of the night trying to get to the bathroom. So, I'm not a huge fan of this, and, and the reason I'm not is because if we scoot over onto this side of the bed, you'll notice that there is plenty of room where the bed could be moved over just a bit and we would be able to fit a, maybe a nightstand over there or at least a little bit more shoulder room so that you don't have to shimmy along the wall in order to get out of bed. Now I realize that this might seem like a silly thing to point out for some people, but I know that there are people who struggle with mobility issues or maybe they just are not coordinated. Like I said, I'm not always the most coordinated person on the planet. And so I want you to be aware of this and just know that this is something you might be dealing with, especially if you are staying here with someone else, you're not gonna have the whole bed to yourself like I do on this particular trip. Next up, we have the nightstand and there is plenty of room, as you can see between the nightstand and this pullout couch. The one thing I did notice about this right away is that there are no charging ports that are easily accessible on the nightstand. You're going to have to reach back and plug in to the wall. That's not a huge deal. We've all been doing it for years, but it's something to keep in mind, something to take note of. No one wants to forget their charger because it was plugged into the wall and they just overlooked it. Next we have our pull-out sofa right here. This looks like it's seen some better days, but that's all right. Now again, when it comes to space, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of space on this side of the bed to be able to get out if you happen to be sleeping on the window side, but there is plenty of space over here. And quite frankly, I'm not sure how easily these things move, but if you really needed to scoot the couch over, I'm sure that would also be an option that's available to you. Here we have some artwork and it is just perfect for this resort. These are the touches of theming that I absolutely love here at the boardwalk. The idea is that we are on a boardwalk and there's lots of games and rides and, and fun. So I love that. We've got a coffee table right here in front of the couch. There is plenty of space under there to tuck a few things away. Let's see if we can move this easily. Mm, relatively easily. It's good that you can move those things. They, they're they pretty much on wheels, so you can slide them out of the way so that you can pull out this bed. And of course, we have the Murphy bed right here as well. You're just going to go ahead and pull those chairs away, and then you can fold that down for a child, or as I've said in the past, a motivated adult, the fifth wheel, the guy, the girl, the friend that everyone wants to include, but didn't have a couple 
And finally, we have the Murphy bed. We've seen this before. Like I mentioned earlier, you're just gonna pull these chairs away and then this is going to fold down into a bed that is going to be ideal for your child, your really motivated adult friend who is playing the fifth wheel, trying to save a little bit of money and is willing to sleep on a smaller bed. Up top, there's a little bit of room for you to put some electronics and other essentials. You'll also notice that there are plugs, both USB and standard here as well. And we have a giant Samsung television. I believe this is a smart TV. Something's up with the display on this one right this second, but I don't know, it might just be might just be that channel. Finally, let's go look out. This is exactly why you stay on the boardwalk, and that is for the view. First of all, let me step back and just say that they have done a great job really showing off the view from the boardwalk. You have this big door. It's not a sliding door. It's just, it's really nice. Feels kind of like a house rather than a hotel room. Let's open up this door. Should probably unlock it first. And here is our amazing view of the boardwalk. So you can see the Yacht and Beach Club there across the water. We have the water right here. We can see the rest of the boardwalk. Friendship boats. Oh, it is just, it is beautiful. Now, not all rooms at the boardwalk are going to have this spectacular view, but I can tell you from experience that a lot of them do have a really great view. Now, as you'll see right there in the center, that is Spaceship Earth right beyond those trees. And what you're seeing kind of leading up to that, so there's the beach right there in front of the beach club, and there's also the ESPN club on the opposite side. That's the walking path that you're gonna take in order to get to Epcot. And as I've said before, it's all about location, and this resort is a great one. There are plenty of delicious dining options here at this resort. There are multiple modes of transportation so you can get where you want to go. It's a really, really great place to stay. But we will talk more about the resort specifically in a future video. This was all about the room, and I hope you guys had a good time taking a look at the room with me. Of course, this is just our first impressions. It's an initial look. You can find out more about this room and some more of my initial thoughts on twofoolishmortals.com and look forward to a full review as well as a review of the resort on twofoolishmortals.com and right here on our YouTube channel. Until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you spending some time with me today and I will see you in the next one.